Hey, Sneaky Dash back again tonight. It's, it's Saturday, it's Saturday. Yeah, Saturday. It's Saturday, it's Saturday. Today for you we have OS4 Open Desktop. Okay, I've meant to do it before. There is a reason why I haven't, I'm going to tell you a little bit later. But hey, it's OS4. Do you remember PC stroke OS? PC OS? Well, it's now OS4, okay? It's now based on Zubuntu, or the Ubuntu's 1204, so it's pretty stable and super duper. Comes with a modified XFC interface, so yeah, you've still got the bars up here and stuff like that. By the way, you don't get all of these to start with, okay? I've installed the system, so it's hunkly dory, super duper. -y. Yeah, so yeah, super duper. And he's been, yeah, he's been doing it quite a while, so yeah, I'm, in the meantime, I am quite liking it as it is, so yeah, super duper. When you first install it, or you use a live CD, all you get is the kickstart men menu here so it's applications menu then you get your files and folders you get google chrome as your browser of choice not mine okay and you get down there the trash or in my language the rubbish bin okay rubbish bin so if you want to do english install it and install to uk please rename it rubbish bin but hey you don't have to i don't care Gonna have a quick run through with it for you. As you can see, I've installed quite a few programs and put them in my little bar over here. And it looks quite nice and quirky, it's different. It runs pretty smooth and fast, so I'm quite happy with that. Yeah, super duper. But the reason why I haven't done it for the past month or so is because every time I go to download it, the download is so slow. Yes. Bearing in mind I've got a really fast internet connection here, or internet connection. I can speak a bit slower. Internet connection. I should have actually downloaded it within about five minutes. But no, it took about three and a half hours, but I could live with that. I went out, done a bit of shopping, do sneaky stuff, done a sneaky pub and sneaky beer and stuff. So yeah. So I've installed Firefox, Gimpage, and also over here, OpenShot, Abbey Word, Genumeric, Skype, and I've actually chucked the logout section in the bar as well, which is good for me. It's all in one section. So yeah, it runs in about 800 meg download, so it's not particularly small, but it's not particularly large. So, that's super cool. so let's go through some things with you, shall we? So the applications kick off here is up here. So you get your web browser, your mail reader, yes. Settings, remember it's XFCE, yes. So you get your settings manager. It's all there for you. All looks nice and hunky dory. Oh, yeah, I quite like it. Should we add a couple of workspaces? Yeah, let's do a bit more. Okay. So let's add another two workspaces to that. Lovely. And there they are down the bottom. You can have as many as you like, by the way. It's entirely up to you. Okay, where else was it? On the settings. I won't go back to the settings manager, but you get additional drivers. Obviously, if you've got uh, proprietary drivers you want to use, they will be there. Because it's Bantu based and so it should be wangi dory. Your input method switcher, keyboard input methods, main menu, it's all XFCE. Okay. Under accessories, run program and application finder. Your archive manager, there's catfish in there, your file manager in there, leaf pad for editing your stuff, just in case you want to. Orange is also here. Screenshots, so you can take a screenshot, lovely. And determiner. That's good. Right under graphics, I've actually installed Gimpage, okay? But you get a document viewer, you get GThumb, Restrato, and Simple Scan. Uh, Gimpage is only 2.6. I was expecting a bit of a 2.8 to go down, but it wasn't going to go down, was it? But it comes okay. Just going to a bit of drinkage. Hmm. Hmm. Happily again. Who, who would have thought that? So Gimpage is not 2.8, but yeah, it will do it as an attempt. Okay, under internet, as you see I've installed Firefox, it's Firefox 15, I'll show you that in a minute. And I've also installed Skype, as you can see from my bar down there, and your web browser, which is Chrome, is there. Okay, multimedia, you do get a music player, pulse audio and video player. I've installed Clementine and OpenShot, okay, because they're ones I would use on this sort of system, personally. You don't get any Office stuff as such. I mean, you can use, uh, obviously, Google Docs and stuff like that, or, or Zoho. I like, you know, actually, I actually prefer Zoho at the moment still. But Abbey Word is here, and I've installed numeric, and we have to install these. Right under system. For external packages like Skype, GDB is the one for you to use to install them. There is no, basically, package manager as such. Well, there is. It's called Synaptic. But there's no software center, if you know what I mean. So we go to Synaptic, and you see what I mean. I'll put my password in. This Synaptic for you. Oh, hunky-dory. Lovely jubbly. Shall I search for something? Uh, yeah, alright, Grin. We'll do Blender, shall we? So I'll put in Blender, see what version of Blender. It's 262. So, you know, while we're here, I might as well install it for you while we're here, mightn't I, really? We're going to mark it and apply. And apply. And I'll start downloading. See, look, that's me proper rate now. Over the top. Factor 7, sir. 
Oh, that's a bit slow. What's going down there? Oh, sorry. Sneaky boy's over the road there. I oh, know, he's doing stuff. That's downloaded all our Blender stuff for us. Nice. I'll let it do what it's got to do. We'll use a different window for what else we're going to do. Right, I'm going to open up Firefox for you. If we go to help and about Firefox, as you can see, it's Ubuntu's canonical run, you know, it's Firefox 15 because it's based on the Ubuntu. Okay. So we've got a BBC. Have a quick look there, there and there. There we go. Let's see what's going down. Yeah, it looks alright to me. Mm, did you see Doctor Who tonight? It was well, it was very good. I can't wait till next week's one though. That's gonna be really good. Right, anyway, we're gonna go back. And there's a reason for this. We're gonna go to the tube. Mm, this we are. And we're gonna type in me, okay? So top in. Because we wouldn't break any laws then, will we? Okay. And there we are. Let's make sure we've all installed over here first, shall we? Yep, we're all installed over there first, so. Blender is now installed. I'll show you that in a second. It's made it quite short this video, isn't it? Really good. Lovely. Okay. So we go to my channel. 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 Yeah, well, there's anyway. Now, apparently, Flash is installed out of the box. So let's have a look. Dum, 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 ding, 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 ding. Oh, I've got bloody. Don't you hate these adverts? Yes, we do. But hey, it's on my channel, so I'm not breaking any laws. This was classic Pats from the other night, by the way, if you've not seen it. Here we go. It's my video starting. Lovely. I like it. Works super duper. Nice. See you later. Bye. Okay. We'll go back to our first window, just because I fancy it. I've done a gimpage for you. Open your shop. We're going to click on 543212154. Yeah, there we go. Open shop works. Hunkily door if you I've not actually set up anything for it because I've not actually used it in this distro yet. Okay. Abbey Word I've installed for you. Mm -hmm. See, everything installs and works really nice. Abbey Word version that I had downloaded from Synaptic is 292, so that's the baby you want. Lovely. See you later. Genie America, of course. Lovely. See you later. All works. And I installed, I installed Skype from the Skype uh, page, by the way, for 1004. It does actually work in 1204 and all that, so don't worry about it. So if I agree, of course I'm agreeing. Well, basically all I do is put your password in and your name and off you go. Uncle Dory, lovely. But don't forget to close it down here too. All right. But what else can I show you about this distro? Not really. It's a rework, okay, but it's actually quite a nice one. One of the nicer ones. You get some that just don't work. This one seems to work hunky dory. As you can see, I'm using 6% of my CPU and 18% of my memory, which would be around about 170, 180 of mega RAM. So that's all right, we can live with that, can't we? Yeah, nicey, 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 I like it. So if you want something different with the XFCE that's been fiddled with, they've got its own features on it and stuff like that, it's really, really good. I've not broke it and nothing wrong with it. It works, it just works out of the box. This is a good alternative if you don't want to go with a standard Zoo Buntu or any other XFCE based Buntus. So go and give it a go. The only downside is the download speed. Yeah. I think it was 87k or something. It was really, really, really slow. So, you know, that's the, the big downside. So I'm only going to mark it at 85% for that reason. Okay. Because the download was so slow. I need to sleep. But once you've got it, it runs really super duper. I like it. Sneaky Linux Ganad of OS4 Open Desktop. Lovely jubbly. Sneaky Linux out. Bye, bye.